YouTube, Mrs. CP here. Today, by request of none other than my mother, I am going to do a really quick and simple soap video. I had posted a picture of my, my soap on my personal Facebook page. My mom and my I believe my sister-in-law both asked if there was how-to videos. So I figure I would just throw together a simple, simple video. This is basically the most easiest soap you can make. The only ingredients that you will need is olive oil, which you can buy at Walmart. Use what you have on hand. You'll need distilled water. And don't use tap water. Use distilled because the lye can sometimes interfere or react to um, stuff that could be in your tap water. So I always use distilled water. And then you're going to need lye, which if a lot of like the local hardware stores will sell it over by like by the Drano and stuff, or you can order it online. And then some equipment you're going to need is gloves because you do not want to get lye on your skin. It burns. You also want to keep some vinegar handy too in case you do get it on your skin because you don't want to put, try to wash it away with water. You you want to pour vinegar on a lye burn. And you also need a handy dandy stick mixer. You don't need to have it, but it, it makes it a lot easier because olive oil soap or castile soap takes a long time to hit trace and so the the stick blender actually helps a lot and also if you want fragrance is optional i'm going to be using lavender today but you need 24.4 ounces of olive oil you'll need 6.83 ounces of water distilled water and then 3.14 ounces of lye so First things first is you're going to want to, you're also going to want to be in a well ventilated area because this lye will put off really harmful fumes that you do not want to breathe in. But you're always going to want to add your lye mixture to your water, never the other way around because it, it could explode. So you're always going to want to add your lye to your water. And you're going to just stir it around and it's going to get hot and it's going to start to stink. And you're gonna stir it around until it gets becomes clear again. So once it comes clear again, I will bring you back. Okay, as you can see, my lye mixture has become pretty clear. So the only thing that you're gonna really need to do is mix it together. And you're gonna bring it to a trace and you're just gonna basically mix it and mix it and mix it until it comes to a trace and then pour it into your molds. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll bring it back when it's come to a trace. Okay. So I've, it only took me about two minutes and I've, I've come to a really light trace. I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically when you pull your stick blender out, it kind of leaves a trace of the drippings on there. So now I'm going to actually add my, my fragrance. And you have to be careful with fragrances because they'll do one of three things. They will either slow down your saponification, speed up your sp the speed up your saponification, or it'll completely seize your soap, and you'll just get one big massive clump of soap. And so, if you're experimenting with different scents and oils, don't be surprised if something like that happens. Like my trace, it's still traced a little bit. So I'm going to continue to mixing until I can get a little bit better trace and I'll bring you right back. Hey guys. So I've mixed in my fragrance and it has come to a trace. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not. Let's see. But when I, I lift my stick blender out, it kind of leaves an indention and everywhere it drips, it kind of just sits there on top. So that's what you're looking for. That's what you want as far as a trace goes. Move this stuff around. I'm working outside today because it's spring break, so the kids are home running amok. Yep, that, that would be one of them in the background screaming. So I figured I would come out here where it was semi quiet. And you don't really want your kids running around when you're doing this type of project. It is definitely not a project to be doing with your children. You want them out of the area. But I'm just using this 
mold that I got on Amazon for like $9. I, I don't like cutting soap, so I like these molds. And this batch pretty much fills this entire mold up. Except for when you do that. So you're going to just let it sit for 24 hours in a dry, warm place. I'll actually put a cover and a couple towels over it and I'll put it in my laundry room and just leave it alone for 24 hours. So once it has sat for 24 hours and I'm ready to take it out of the mold, I will bring you back to show you the finished product. So it has been 24 hours and I've let my soap sit overnight. And so this is, this is why I like these molds so easily. They just kind of pop out. And that's what you have left. I'll let it cure for about six weeks before I use it. But it it's one of our favorite soaps. And I just I love these molds because they're so easy just to pop out. Because I, I, I really despise cutting soap. I am the worst at cutting soap. I can never get even cuts and they're always jagged. And, but I'll just take a... A little paring knife and I'll just clean up around the edges so they're not as sharp right here but that's basically it that's the easiest soap you can make if you're wanting to start making soap just remember to be cautious when using the lye don't be scared of it because I mean that's what a lot of people are like well lye it's so dangerous and, you know, yeah so is a pressure can or so is driving down the street everything has some sort of danger to it so it's just a matter of being cautious and knowing what you're doing and being safe about it, using eye protection and wearing gloves. And I've been doing this for a couple of years now and I have yet to burn myself, thankfully. Probably will next time I make soap, but so far I haven't. And that's why you have the vinegar on hand is if you burn yourself, just pour the vinegar over it and you should be fine. But that is what I have for you today. So be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and happy prepping.